There are many, many different and super advanced aircraft being developed and tested at any given moment. Not all of them make it to production, and some of them wind up much better than others. But they all turn out with one thing in common, they are deadly machines. Without further ado, here are 20 of the most dangerous fighter jets in the world. Number 20. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II Back in 2006 when it first launched, the F-35 was the absolute top of the range, all singing, all dancing, best of everything in combat aircraft. And it is still considered to be a pretty good plane, but time and technology continues its steady forward march and new things keep on coming onto the defense scene. This aircraft is the pinnacle of contemporary combat plane technology and has been designated a cornerstone of United States and NATO air power for the foreseeable future. The United States intends to purchase over 2,000 of these aircraft up until 2044, and they'll be the main corps of the United States Air Force, the Navy, and the Marine Corps in their tactical aviation plans for the next many decades. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. For the most part, aircraft carriers tend to be massive ships on the ocean, able to launch multiple fighter jets in super speedy times and position themselves strategically for the optimum war zone efficiency. But what if there were flying aircraft carriers? What if they could launch all the fighter jets immediately from the sky above where they were needed? Well, the idea of a plane that carries other planes is not all that entirely new. It's been done before, but with limited success. The X-85 Goblin was a teeny-weeny jet plane that was designed to be carried inside of the B-36 bomber in order to defend the big cumbersome plane from attack. It did work in some ways, they could launch it, but getting it back inside again afterwards, well, that was a pretty tricky affair. But what do you think? How would you have made this work? Go on and let me know in the comments down below by using the hashtag fancy topic and give me your thoughts in relation to what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon and where the United States has the F-35, China is close behind with this, the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon. This is the Chinese Chengdu Aerospace Corporation's twin-jet stealth combat aircraft that was developed for use by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLAAF. Its main purpose is to excel in air superiority while also being really good at precision strike capabilities. The J-20 lineup comprises three variations, the initial production model J-20A, the versatile thrust vectoring J-20B, and the J-20S with dual-seat capabilities for team operation. The Mighty Dragon began life back to the JXX program in the 1990s. The world got a proper look at it during the 2016 China International Aviation an aerospace exhibition. In February of 2018, the first J-20 combat unit would be established, so China became the first Asian nation and the world's second overall to have a functional stealth aircraft. When it comes to fifth-generation fighter aircraft, the J-20 is the third currently in operation after the American F-22 and F-35. Number 18. Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor the F-22 Raptor was created by Lockheed Martin. It's an advanced American fighter aircraft that was developed specifically for the United States Air Force. It emerged from the United States Air Force's Advanced Tactical Fighter, or ATF, initiative and was designed not only as an air superiority fighter, and who doesn't want air superiority, but also with capabilities for ground attacks, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence. Lockheed Martin primarily handled the construction of the F-22's airframe and weapon systems, and the company oversaw the plane's final assembly. Then, Boeing contributed to the project by providing the wings, the aft fuselage, the avionics integration, and training systems, and in 1999 the aircraft took its first flight and underwent various designations like F-22 and F-A-22. 
It was officially introduced as the F-22A in December of 2005. Originally, it was intended for a purchase of 750 units, but the program was scaled down to 187 production aircraft in 2009 due to factors like high costs, a limited number of air-to-air -air missions during that period, and the emergence of the more cost-effective and adaptable F-35. A cheeky upstart, if you ask me. The final F-22 would be delivered in 2012. Number 17. The KAIKF-21 Barame The KAIKF-21 Barame was previously known as the more pronounceable and easier out-of-the-mouth KFX, but it's emerged as its current self with this new name. It was a South Korean-led initiative which had aimed to create an advanced multi-purpose fighter aircraft for both the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces. The aircraft's airframe has much greater stealth capabilities when compared to fourth-generation fighters, although it doesn't house weapons inside of it like its fifth-generation counterparts. However, there is a possibility that some internal bays might be added in later stages of development. It just keeps on getting new and shiny bits as time goes on. Led by the South Korean government with a 60% stake, the program's ownership is shared. Indonesia got a hold of a 20% share in 2011, while the remaining 20% is split amongst private partners, which includes the manufacturer Korea Aerospace Industries. That is the KAI part of the name. This marks South Korea's second homegrown fighter jet project following the F-A-50. The first prototype would be revealed back in April of 2021 during a ceremony at their headquarters at an airport, and it was officially named the Barame, which translates to Young Hawk or Fighting Hawk in Korean. The initial testing flight took place on July the 19th of 2022, and production is set to commence in the year 2026. These things do take time, you know. Plans currently include delivering a minimum of 40 aircraft by the year 2028, and South Korea's deployment goal is 120 units by 2032. The aircraft is intended for export as well. In Indonesia, the corresponding program is referred to as the IFX Initiative, and the completed aircraft is expected to have the designation of F-33. Number 16. The Sukhoi Su-57 Felon the Sukhoi Su-57, which is known as Felon in NATO reporting, is a twin-engine stealth multi-role fighter plane that was developed by Sukhoi in Russia. It has come from the PAC-FA program, which was launched in 1999 to create a more modern and cost-effective alternative to the MFI project. Within Sukhoi, it's designated as the T-50. It is the first Russian military aircraft to integrate stealth technology and they're aiming to use the Sukhoi Su-57 to establish a foundation for a fleet of stealth combat planes, which is not exactly something that the rest of the world is likely to be all that thrilled about, to be honest. Combining capabilities for aerial combat, ground and maritime strikes, the Su-57 has a whole bunch of fancy schmancy features like stealth, awesome maneuverability, sustained supersonic speed, integrated avionics, and sizable internal payload capacity. It was designed to succeed the MiG-29 and the Su-27 in the Russian military, and it's also being planned to be made available for international sale. The first prototype took flight in 2010, but the program did have some delays due to structural and technical challenges that were uncovered during the testing phase. The initial production aircraft suffered a crash before delivery, further adding to the woes of the development process. Eventually, the first operational Su-57 would join the Russian Aerospace Forces in December of 2020, and as of December of 2022, a total of 11 units have been produced, not including the prototype test aircraft. But there are likely more on the way all the time. Number 15. Shenyang FC-31 Grafalcon Xinyang FC-31 Gerfalcon, also known better as the J-31, is a Chinese mid-sized twin-jet fifth-generation fighter aircraft prototype created by Xinyang Aircraft Corporation, or SAC. The SAC's official name for it is the Gerfalcon, but it's also been called the F-60 or the J-21 Snowy Owl in certain media outlets, and some military enthusiasts would term it Falcon Hawk. It's suffering a bit of an identity crisis, it would seem. The poor love. 
It's had more name changes than Kanye. The JXX naming in the Chinese military actually refers to programs that are funded by the People's Liberation Army, whereas the FC-31 was developed independently as a private endeavor by the aircraft manufacturer. Hence all of the great naming discombobulation to begin with. Number 14. The Boeing F-15 EX Eagle II in 2018, the United States Air Force and Boeing began making noises about the F-15X, which is an enhanced F-15 variant that is based on the F-15QA. It's designed to replace older F-15 C and D models, and the upgrades were to include carrying more missiles, extra advanced avionics, ASA radar, and longer service life. Both single and two-seat versions were on the table during discussions, with the two-seat F-15EX eventually being chosen. It can be flown solo or by a pilot, and WSO for more complex missions. Or just for company, you know. Everyone needs a friend, even big brave solo piloting sorts. Now, the 15EX is intended to maintain the fleet size because of the F-22's end in production and the F-35 production being fraught with delay. It may not fare very well against modern air defenses by the time that it gets to 2028, but it can handle homeland defense and deploy standoff weapons. The United States Defense Department ordered eight F-15 EXs for $1.2 billion back in July of 2020, and the first flight was in February of 2021, with the first delivery in March of that year for testing at Eglin Air Force Base. Named the Eagle II in April of 2021, the 2021 budget funded 12 more of these machines, and by May of 2022, 144 had been ordered, but the United States Air Force was considering reducing that to 80. Their eyes may have well been bigger than their tummies and their wallets. Budget plans for 2024 include 24 more aircraft, reaching a planned fleet of 104. In April of 2023, the California and Louisiana Air National Guards decided to swap their F-15 C and D fleets for the F-15EX, and in May of the same year, it was announced that the 173rd Fighter Wing would transition to training F-35A pilots instead of F-15EX at Kingsley Field in Oregon. Number 13. The Eurofighter Typhoon the Eurofighter Typhoon is a European collaborative project having a main twin engine design with a canard delta wing, whatever that may mean. It was initially designed for air superiority, naturally, I mean who wouldn't need that, but it's now a versatile multi-role fighter that was built in a collaboration between Airbus, BAE Systems, and Leonardo through Eurofighter Jagosaglam. The NATO Eurofighter and Tornado Management Agency is in charge of the project, and the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain are all their main customers. Development of the Typhoon began in 1983 with the Future European Fighter Aircraft Program, uniting several European nations together. This was still the era of the Big Bad Cold War, so requirements for these nations were slightly different than they later became. The aircraft's name was finalized in 1998, and it entered operational service in 2003, serving in various air forces, which included those of Austria, Germany, Italy, the UK, Spain, Saudi Arabia, and Oman. Kuwait and Qatar also placed orders, which totaled 623 aircraft by the year 2019. Designed for agile dogfighting, the Typhoon evolved to excel in air-to-surface missions with adaptable armaments like Storm Shadow, Brimstone, and Marte ER missiles. It had its first combat involvement during the 2011 Libya intervention, taking on roles like reconnaissance and ground strikes. Since then, it's been a primary air defense asset for several different nations. Number 12. The Dassault Rafale the Dassault Rafale has a name meaning gust of wind or burst of fire. It's a versatile French multi-role fighter aircraft which was built by Dassault Aviation. 
Sporting a snazzy twin-engine canard delta wing design, the Rafale is positively jam-packed with an array of weaponry, and all of this allows it to excel in various roles like air supremacy, interdiction, reconnaissance, ground support, strike missions, anti-ship strikes, and even nuclear deterrence. Dassault affectionately calls it an omni-role aircraft, and they would though, wouldn't they? During the late 1970s, the French Air Force and Navy had aimed to modernize their aircraft fleets. France initially partnered with other European nations for a joint future European fighter aircraft project, but eventually pursued its own path due to different needs. You know, like the Beatles splitting up because they had creative differences. Dassault's technology demonstrator took off in July of 1986, marking the first of an eight-year flight test program that had paved the way for its development. The Rafale is fairly unusual in its focus on domestic production, which involves key French defense contractors like Dassault, Thales, and Saffron, its advanced avionics like the RBE-2 AA Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, and the Optronic Sector Frontal Infrared Search and Track Sensor were all homegrown for this program. Although it was originally planned for a 1996 service entry, the Rafale faced delays due to budget adjustments after the Cold War, so it took a bit longer to arrive on the scene than previously planned. This aircraft comes in three main variants, the single-seat land-based Rafale C, the twin-seat land-based Rafale B, and the single-seat carrier-based Rafale M. Introduced in 2001, it serves the French Air Force and Navy. Its export potential has also finally been realized, with customers including Egypt, India, Qatar, Greece, Croatia, Indonesia, and the UAE. The Rafale has seen action over various conflict zones, from Afghanistan and Libya to Mali, Iraq, and Syria. Number 11. The Sukhoi Su-35S The Sukhoi Su-35, known as Flanker E by NATO, encompasses two enhanced versions derived from the Su-27 air defense fighter. These are single-seat, twin-engine air superiority fighters with impressive maneuverability. Sukhoi Design Bureau conceptualized the aircraft, and Sukhoi has produced them. This plane was originally developed as the Su-27M by the Soviet Union. It inherited attributes from the Su-27, but also included canards and a versatile radar, adding multi-role capability. It took its first flight in June of 1988. After the Soviet Union's disillusion, it rebranded itself as the Su-35 to attract international buyers. 14 units would be created for testing and demonstration, and one even featured thrust vectoring engines. It would later be labeled the Su-37. The Su-35UB two-seat trainer, resembling the Su-30MK family, was also constructed. In 2003, Sukhoi started a second modernization of the Su-27 as a temporary solution until the Su-57 program had stopped messing about and finally matured. This updated version, also referred to as the Su-35, featured a redesigned cockpit, improved weapons control system, and thrust vectoring engines instead of canards. It performed its inaugural flight in February of 2008, although it was initially intended for export. The Russian Air Force became the launch customer in 2009, with a production model named Su-35S. China's People's Liberation Army Air Force has also secured orders. What a fun one that was to read. Number 10. The F-18 Hornet the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet is a versatile twin-engine supersonic combat aircraft capable of all-weather operations. Its designation F-A signifies its role as both a fighter and an attack aircraft. I see what they did there. It's clever stuff, really. It would be designed jointly by McDonnell Douglas and Northrop and originated from the YF-17 in the 1970s to serve the United States Navy and Marine Corps. Besides the United States, it's utilized by other nations and was once the aircraft of the United States Navy's Blue Angels Flight Demonstration Squadron. You know, the ones that blow all the patriotic smoke out of their rear ends for the high days and holidays? The F-A-18 boasts adaptable avionics, cockpit displays, and excellent aerodynamics, which enable it to carry a wide array of weaponry. 
Its capabilities span fighter escort fleet air defense, enemy air defenses suppression, air interdiction, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance. The versatility and reliability make it an invaluable asset on aircraft carriers, although some have criticized it for its range and payload limitations compared to its contemporaries like the F-14 Tomcat, the A-6 Intruder, and the A-7 Corsair II. The Hornet's combat debut came during the 1986 U.S. bombing of Libya and later played roles in the 1991 Gulf War and the 2003 Iraqi War. This aircraft served as the foundation for the Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet, a larger, evolved version that replaced both the older Hornet and the F-14 Tomcat in the U.S. Navy's fleet. Number 9. The F-16 Fighting Falcon the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon is a versatile American single-engine multi-role fighter. It was initially developed by the United States Air Force by General Dynamics and was designed as a daytime air superiority fighter, but transformed into a successful all-weather multi-purpose aircraft. Production was approved in 1976, and over 4,600 of these have been manufactured to date. While the U.S. Air Force is no longer procuring them, upgraded versions are still being produced for international customers. In 1993, General Dynamics aircraft manufacturing business was acquired by Lockheed Corporation and later merged with Martin Marietta to form Lockheed Martin. The main features of the Fighting Falcon include a frameless bubble canopy for enhanced visibility, a side-mounted control stick for easy maneuvering, an ejector seat that is reclined to reduce pilot g-force, and a fly-by-wire flight control system that's designed to improve its agility. Equipped with an internal M61 Vulcan cannon and 11 hardpoints, the F-16 is a pretty robust aircraft to be reckoned with, even in its senior years. It has also been adopted by 25 other nations, and since 2005, it's held the title of the world's most abundant fixed-wing military aircraft. It's almost like the Honda Civic of the combat skies. Number 8. The Hal Tejas LCA The Hal Tejas, which means radiance in English, is a single-engine delta-wing light multi-role fighter that was designed to serve both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy. Starting out as the light combat aircraft program in the 1980s, it was supposed to replace the aging MiG-21s, but eventually became part of a more broad fleet modernization effort. In 2003, it was officially named Tejas. In fact, it's the smallest and lightest of its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. Following the HAL HF-24 Marut, this one's second attempt at developing a fighter with supersonic capabilities. It gained initial operational clearance in 2011 and final operational clearance in 2019. The first squadron, number 45, replaced their MiG-21s with aircraft in 2016. Number 7. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen the Saab JAS-39 Gripen, affectionately called the Griffin, is a nimble single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter made by Saab AB, a Swedish aerospace and defense company. Sporting a delta wing and canard setup, it features relaxed stability design and fly-by-wire flight controls, with newer models being fully NATO interoperable. Over 271 Gripens of various models from A through F have been delivered. In 1979, the government initiated studies for an aircraft to replace the Saab 35 Draken and the 37 Viggen, leading to the JAS project, which was aiming to produce a fighter, attack, and reconnaissance aircraft. Saab developed the chosen design, which resulted in the 39, and the first flight happened in 1988. Then production began in 1993. The Swedish Air Force adopted it in 96 with upgraded versions that were equipped with advanced avionics and adaptations for longer missions entering service in 2003. A significant redesign, previously called the Gripen NG or Next Generation, a bit Star Trekky or Super Jazz, now referred to as the Jazz 39 EF Gripen, began its deliveries in 2019 for the Swedish and Brazilian Air Forces. The changes since the C version included a larger fuselage, more potent engine, increased weapons capacity, upgraded cockpit, new avionics, electronic warfare systems, and other enhancements. It's all very shiny and exciting. Number 6. The MiG-35 
The MiG-35 is a versatile Russian multi-role fighter created by Mikoyan, a branch of the United Aircraft Corporation. It's positioned as a fourth plus-plus generation fighter, building upon the foundation of the MiG-29, the 29K, and others. Some experts have said that the MiG-35 is essentially an enhanced version of the MiG-29KR, and its name might be more for marketing, you know, like most of the new iPhones. Internationally unveiled at the 2017 Moscow Air Show, the MiG-35 comes in single-seat and two-seat versions, having advanced avionics and all of the bells and whistles that you would expect out of a Russian fighter jet. One distinctive feature is its optical locator system, which reduces its reliance on ground control and interception and enables independent multi-role missions. The first two serial production MiG-35 aircraft went into service in 2019. Number 5. The Chengdu J-10 Vigorous Dragon This plane is also known as Firebird by NATO and is a versatile medium-weight single-engine combat aircraft designed for all-weather operations. Featuring distinctive delta wing and canard configuration, it utilizes fly-by-wire flight controls. Primarily built for air-to-air -air combat, the J-10 is also capable of carrying out strike missions and is about as scary and mean as all the other fighter planes that you've seen today. That's the thing, if one country gets a shiny new toy, all of the other countries want one as well. Number 4. The JF-17 Thunder this plane, also known as the Fierce Dragon, is a lightweight single-engine multi-role combat aircraft that does all of the things that you would expect for a combat aircraft to do. The name J-17 signifies Joint Fighter 17 in Pakistan's vision, marking it as a successor to the F-16. It has all the guns and rockets and such that you would think it would have, and it achieves a top speed of Mach 1.6, serving as the backbone of the Pakistani Air Force and complementing the F-16 at a lower cost. Number 3. The Mikoyan MiG-31 this plane is known as Foxhound and is a supersonic interceptor aircraft developed by Mikoyan Design Bureau for the Soviet Air Force. It was designed as an upgrade for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat, and it shared many design features with it. It's recognized as one of the world's fastest combat aircraft. Russia plans to keep the MiG-31 operational until at least 2030, as confirmed by an announcement that extended the service life of existing aircraft frames from 2,500 to 3,500 hours. They do enjoy getting their money's worth. Number 2. The Grumman F-14 Tomcat this plane is an American carrier-capable fighter aircraft known for its twin-engine, twin-tail design and variable sweep wings. It took its inaugural flight on December 21st of 1970 and would be deployed aboard the USS Enterprise in 1974, succeeding the F-4 Phantom II. In September of 2006, the United States Navy would retire the F-14, replacing it with the Boeing F-A-18EF Super Hornet. And today, some of these F-14s are on display all throughout the United States. This is also the plane that featured heavily in the 1986 film Top Gun starring Tom Cruise. Producers of the movie had paid the U.S. Navy $886,000 for the use of the aircraft in the film, and it cost $7,600 per hour to fly the plane in the movie. The iconic aircraft popped up again in the 2022 sequel, Top Gun Maverick. Number 1. The Mikoyan Gruvich MiG-21 this plane is also known as the Fishbed and is a supersonic jet fighter and interceptor built by the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. With a remarkable presence across 60 countries on four continents, this plane continues to be operational even after six decades since its first flight. It holds several records, which includes being the most produced supersonic jet aircraft in history, and it held the title of most produced combat aircraft since the Korean War, once boasting the longest production run of any combat plane. It's now exceeded by the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. That's all from today's Dogfight in the Sky. Which of these aircraft impressed you the most? As always, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.